Hey y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, girl, please go ahead, like, share, okay? Subscribe. Do not be afraid to come through the room, come through the building and get that bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you would like a personal reading from me, girl, go ahead, hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. Com. Also, if you would like to join the Dark Feminine membership that we got going over on that Patreon, girl, we're just trying to we just trying to relate, vibe, do us over on the Patreon, girl. Go ahead and look for the link in the bio section beneath this video, and the same can be said for the link to the Facebook page. Okay, that is also in the bio section beneath this video. And yeah, let's get into it. Um, there is something that I pulled earlier, so I am going to go ahead and read it now. Somebody is dealing with uh, a masculine that is. Y'all, these, listen, we, we can't forget these Jezebel energies. Um, they are omnipresent, and we can't forget the role they play in the lives of men. Somebody is seeing a man, courting a man, dating a man, maybe even married to a man. What you're not really understanding is the presence of the Jezebel energy in this masculine's life that has come from his mother. Y'all, this man is used to a woman making decisions for him this man is used to a woman that is kind of breaking him down in a sense this man is used to being emasculated silenced controlled by the feminine and someone is not getting that you're seeing him and you're saying you know what is the problem why is is it happening the way that it's happening he's lazy he expects me to do everything but you're, you you have it right like, but you're not understanding the ruling spirits that are contributing to him being this sort of masculine, okay? It's deeper than he's lazy. It's deeper than he's not the person that thinks to pick up the phone and make the reservation. It's much deeper than that. This man has been raised to be, he's been raised to be quite broken, okay? So we just want to kind of look deeper into this relationship and into this connection just to kind of figure out what it is you need to know about this and also what other things you may be overlooking as it relates to this Jezebel energy and it's kind of undercurrents in your relationship okay because it is still very present in deciding who this man is going to be okay and how he's going to respond to things then we come right out the gate with confirmation we see the strength card. We know that the strength card is also the number eight. Okay, so that's telling us quite a bit. It's number eight in the major arcana, okay, of the tarot for those who are learning their cards. Um, right out the gate, this woman, very early, we're talking about mom here, very early in this masculine's life, she really kind of quietly taught him that his opinions, his thoughts, his ideas did not matter. This man was not raised to be a leader. He was not raised to be a lion. He was not raised to be, you know, um, ruler of the animal kingdom, okay? Uh, the, the baddest in the jungle. He was not raised for that. Early on, his mother did take these things from him. His mother may have been heavy in church. I'm seeing that energy. This woman may have been very heavy in Christian church. Um, she is somebody that has been raised up in the Christian faith all of her life. Um, and for whatever reason, she is not capable of seeing how her demeanor has affected her son. She's not realizing that the Jezebel energy is really in her very deeply. His mother is very pretty. Um, she may be dowdy, though. Like, she's not dressed or nothing like that. Like, she's not no sharp girl or nothing like that. Um, but she's got a beautiful face. To the public, to the, to the front-facing world... She comes off as a gentle spirit, okay? But somehow in these backdrops and backgrounds, she has raised this man to be very subservient to feminine energy. And it has followed him into his future. Um, he had a dad that walked out, okay? Three of Wands energy. His dad walked out, um, went on to explore other things, guys. He went on to explore what you might want to say, greener pastures, what dad, dad is gone, okay? And this left mom, Queen of Cups energy, to be the mother and the father. And she really put an excessive amount of attention on her son. This is the masculine that is in your life right now. She put an excessive amount of attention on him um, from a very, very, very young age. She was overprotective, aka controlling, okay? 
Um, she may have smothered this masculine. I'm getting Queen of Cups in reverse energy, actually. Okay. She may have smothered this masculine. Nine of Cups. Um, he was spoiled rotten, y'all. This man didn't have to lift the finger. He was spoiled. He was given everything he wanted. Um, his mother does not have financial problems. I can't tell you that. Okay. So when he asked for something, receiving it was, you know, it was, it was like nothing but a word. Okay. He may be an only child as well. We see the hermit. So this man may also be very book smart. He was very precocious. You know, the type of kid that's raised up, they get a lot of time to themselves, to be themselves to learn things themselves, okay? Kind of only child syndrome. He's very bright, okay? Um, books were his best friend is the vibe that I'm getting, okay? This man was also very active. He may have been in a sport, running track, um, could be baseball, could be track. He could also be very gifted with IT. We see the magician energy. Um, it's very interesting too because we're also seeing the infinity symbol over the mom and the son so this man himself what you're not realizing girl is he's inherited a lot of her spirit and a lot of her energy so just as much as he is an ahab energy and he's lazy in a sense there's also some jezebel energy that comes from him where he is kind of controlling and manipulating you into allowing him to remain ahab okay he has inherited some of her energy no doubt even though she broke him okay he still inherited a lot of her energy. So this man is kind of, you may feel he's manipulating you into being more of a masculine energy in the relationship. You know that if you don't call and make the arrangements, the arrangements won't get made. You know, if you don't call the bank and check on the payment, the payment ain't going to be made. You know, if you don't go down to the school and talk to the teacher about the kids, the teacher's not going to get spoken to, okay? Because you see that he will sit there in this lazy, broken Ahab energy waiting on you to do everything. But there is a level of manipulation that is involved in this and that his actions do still inadvertently control the dynamic between y'all, okay? And that's just the way that it's been, the way that it has, you know, that it's going to be. Um, this is a very solid and rigid pattern in this man's life, the Hierophant energy. This is who he was raised to be, okay? It is not just like a phase. Like, this is really in his... At this point, this is a bloodline situation, okay? Because this is who he was really raised up to be and what he really knows and thinks is acceptable. Um, we also see this Eight of Swords energy coming in right behind the Hierophant. With this Eight of Swords energy coming in right behind this Hierophant energy, y'all, this, this woman, this mother, Mama Jezebel, she does not want her son to really move on with anybody, okay? So you got, what, what did I just tell y'all? And then we see the Queen of Swords coming in right behind this. What did I just say? She does not want to see her son move on. So there's a bit of a battle axe energy in the background. And you do realize this. His mother is not horribly in love with you. And it's not, it's not you that she's not in love with. It's the idea that her son is going off creating a new partnership. That is not her. Remember this woman and her son were alone together for a very long time. Single mom, spoiled him, gave him everything he wanted. She just is not somebody that really knows how to embrace a new energy in her son's life. This is not something that comes easily for her. So there is resistance. Please note, okay, she is still trying to control her son and she's using a sharp tongue as it relates to you in the background, okay? Queen of Swords energy. In order for this man to have even gone off and started his sex life as a young man, he really did have to rebel. Knight of, Knight of Wands with the Devil card energy. He had to rebel, okay, just to really start his life out with women in the first place. So know that this masculine might have actually experienced his first intimate experience a little later than most, okay? I'm hearing 18, 19, 21, okay? He, he wasn't a boy that came of age in high school or anything like that because his mother was so overbearing, okay? Ace of Cups energy with the Six of Wands. This woman truly has always believed she knows the ways in which this man should go. And she doesn't believe anyone could possibly know better. Even if it was a coach, even if it was a friend, she thinks that he, and she has raised him to think that he, his ideas, his version of his reality, this is who I want to be, this is the man that I want to be. She has raised him not to trust himself, y'all. She has raised him to feel that his ideas on things are foolish. 
okay? I'm literally seeing a, a finger wagging. Like, she's been like, you don't know what you're talking about. That is not the right way to go. Like, she's one of those types, okay? And in that, she kind of gave him the idea that his version of the man that he wants to be is silly, okay? That's why we're seeing foolish. So, you have to understand, too, for a mother to break a boy like this, there's a level of betrayal that's present, okay? To just break your son's soul like that. There's a level of betrayer, betrayal that is present. There is also a level of betrayal that is present in his father walking away from him and just kind of going off to experience life anew his own way. So this is a boy, y'all. As a boy, he got very accustomed to being betrayed and to having to kind of compete for his will to be heard. Five of Swords energy, y'all. He was always kind of trying to, he had to force his mother to consider the fact that he want to do something, okay? His father is somebody that he was chasing, somebody that he was like, I'm trying to call dad. Where is he? Why won't he show up? So these betrayals and slights and being put last and you might as well shut up because ain't nothing going to change anyway. These things kind of quietly got embedded in him from a young boy. These are things that you, you don't know or wouldn't know. There's no way for you to know these things. So these are things that this man has gone through that have kind of been the blueprint for who he is and who he was by the time he made it to you, okay? By the time he got to you, this man had already been kind of broken in spirit, broken in um, leadership capabilities, okay? So how is this showing up in your relationship, okay? How is this showing up in your relationship? Because we see the backstory, and it's just, it's a lot of brokenness, okay? We see the lovers. Um, there's a lot of love between you two. So this is something that you, like, you're trying to get to the place of complete harmony, complete synergy, complete understanding and coupleship, okay, with this masculine. And you want to do so and stand in truth. So you're really looking for a divine partnership. You don't want no BS. You don't want to play games. Like, you're truly looking for something that is solid, that is whole, that is real, that can be depended upon, that can be relied upon. And that is your goal in this situation is like, I want to make this a situation that basically I can set my watch by, okay, type of energy. Wheel of Fortune. Um, there's some different forces working in the background, though, that you're not recognizing, which I just told you. There's mom. OK, there is also the fact that he's inherited the idea that it's OK to kind of slightly manipulate somebody. And of course, it's cool with him to slightly manipulate somebody because he's been manipulated the hell out of all of his life. So this doesn't seem like a big deal to him to slightly manipulate the energy around him. OK, so we see Will of Fortune energy due to these kind of ruling energies in the astral and these undercurrents in the earth realm. There's not a lot of room for you to not experience kind of like problems, blowback, confusion in this relationship. Ten of Swords energy. So there's a storm either in or coming towards this relationship. Ten of Swords energy. Yeah, Ten of Swords with the Five of Wands. This man's being emasculated not taking the lead, has started to actually create friction and problems in a relationship. And the thing is, you've been wondering why this is. You're like, why are we fighting? Why are we having problems? Why are we getting into it? Why is there periods where we don't speak? You have not been able to put your finger on what exactly it is that's con contributing to the tumultuous circumstances within y'all's relationship. Like you're just you know, searching in the dark, like, why are we suddenly having issues? And it's really been hard on your mind, sis, because your goal is to have a relationship that's the lovers and the ace of swords. So you're looking for harmony, truth, friendship, divine partnership. We tell each other, keep it real with each other. Everything's righteous. We got our crowns upon our head. We're working to try to build a life of abundance. And all you keep getting lately is a Ten of Swords, Five of Wands relationship where he's barely participating and y'all are arguing and fighting. And you're like, where is all of this mess coming from? It is coming from this Wheel of Fortune energy here has shown us, y'all, that this is coming from the underlying ruling spirits, demonic forces that are going on within this masculine's life. That's where it's coming from. The things that are going on under the table in this man's life. Okay, the things that you didn't know, 
um, hidden demonic forces, okay? Look at what I just tell y'all. Thank you, uh, Spirit, for the confirmation. Seven of Cups. What did I just tell y'all? These are storms that have been brewing in the astral for a while. You're finally experiencing what's been going on above, below. Also, I want to talk about the power that this woman has because let's be clear here. This woman is a powerful woman. She's been standing in Christianity for many, many years. Unfortunately, she herself is under demonic influence. She probably does not know that she herself needs deliverance. But she is a powerful spiritual force. This woman may be a prayer warrior at church. This woman may be an intercessor of some kind. This woman may even be an evangelist. Okay, she has a lot of energy on her within the church. She has a lot of spiritual power. She's not weak. So when she's sitting in the background, opening her mouth, slinging her tongue around on y'all's relationship, that is also causing a lot of the undercurrents. It's as though she's causing boiling. I'm seeing boiling water. It's as though she's causing the emotional waters in y'all relationship to stay hot, hot enough to boil, okay? She is a powerful lady, and she knows how to speak against what she thinks are strongholds, sis. This man's mother thinks you're a stronghold in his life. She doesn't see you as a helper. She doesn't see you as a support system for him. She doesn't see you as a friend or a lady that's putting a smile on his face. She's seeing you as a stronghold, somebody that is coming against the work that she has done in his life. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. This woman is a witch. Whether she knows it or not, whether she understands it or not, this woman is a witch. And she is a witch in Jezebel energy that is functioning with a lot of ancient deities. Okay? Because we know how Jezebel roll. Okay? And, and she's gotten a stronghold, a chokehold even if you will, over her son. Straight like that. And I'm telling y'all, she's completely unaware of it. This woman, is there's a self-righteousness to this woman where she believes that she's right. And you know, when somebody believes they right, it's hard to get through to them spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. I don't care what you're talking about because they believe they're right. And she's also been using Jesus as a shield, I'm hearing. So this lady is will walk around with Jesus in front of her saying, I know I'm right because Christ, I'm in the pray the blood of Jesus. She's doing all of this to say that she's always right. Nobody's able to get through to her because she's using Christ in the wrong way. She's using Christ violently, y'all. Woo! Child, we hearing something today. She's using Christ to incite violence in her son's life. And she's coming against his friends, his women. Girl, that's why this man isn't already married or isn't already living in another state. The attachment that she has to this masculine. She's weaponizing it all through his life. She's weaponizing it all throughout this man's life, y'all. And it's coming from the astral, okay? She's creating a lot of chaotic darkness, confusion in this man's life. Do y'all see this moon energy? This woman is a dark energy force in this masculine's life. She's creating the storms. This will of fortune energy, and y'all, what I just tell y'all, here go to death card energy. This will of fortune energy that's spinning through y'all's relationship right now, that is spinning this storm in, okay, is largely coming from her, her resentment, her fear, not even of you, just of another feminine coming into this man's life and bringing transformation. The moon went combined with the death card. The thing she's most afraid of is that somebody will simply come into this masculine's life and wake him up, okay? Or show him something new or get him to get up off of his lazy behind. See, because this woman likes him to be a little helpless because that makes her feel empowered. That makes her feel like she knows, I, I know how to deal with him. She doesn't want this man to get up and transition into the next phase of his manhood. So understand something, sis. This is the message that we just received here is that actually this masculine is still functioning like a boy. Yeah. He may be in your life with your expectations of him as a man. He's not yet a man. He hasn't even been allowed to be that. He hasn't been allowed to be that. Just to tell you the truth. Okay, some of his laziness is actually falling under y'all. I'm hearing this right now. It's not so much that he's, it's laziness, but it's not even so much that he's lazy, girl. This is somebody that is dealing with a lot of developmental delay, in a sense. There are certain muscles in his intellect that he never even had to develop. She's going to keep him from developing those because she wants to keep him helpless. 
okay y'all there's a there's a hard spirit over this there's a movie that i saw uh it's from the 70s okay it's a very strange movie it's not a movie that had no stars in it or nothing like that but i remember me and my ex-boyfriend watched it and we was like what like it blew our hair back there was a, a family of women a mother and sisters i believe who were keeping an adult man in the space of a baby okay because this made them feel empowered i want to say the name of it is baby and they were literally keeping this man who had to be all of 40 years old, y'all. Keeping him in rompers, keeping him in a cat in a uh in a in a um they were keeping him in a uh carriage, okay? They were keeping him in a crib. And when people called in the social worker, the social worker got obsessed with him and took him and kept him in that same girl in that same frequency. So that's what this is. The woman that this thank you spirit for giving me that because I ain't thought about that movie in years. The energy that's coming off of this relationship, y'all, is one that this this mother will only allow into this man's life a woman who is going to help support her in keeping him in suspended infancy. That's all she know how to do. Those are her plans, okay? And as she's seeing you in his life, you're making plans. He's trying to make plans with you, okay? Because he is grown. This is hurtful for this woman. She feels like you're doing something to her because this woman still basically feels like he is her mate and he is her mate and that he is her perfect Ahab energy, Jezebel and Ahab. This in her mind, this is a partnership that he and her already have. Okay. This is, this is what she already thinks it. Hey, this is my man. Okay. In a sense, you know, it, unfortunately this happens a lot of times where these wires get crossed and she's placed her relationship needs on him okay so this is the reality of what he's thinking and what he wants okay even if he doesn't know this is what he's thinking and this is what he wants so what we want to see now is what are you supposed to do okay because these underlying energies are the reason that you're experiencing a lack of peace you can't get to this harmony that you want with this this lovers and ace of swords energy okay you definitely, Queen of Wands energy, you definitely want to speak up about this. Okay? You definitely want to speak up and make it clear. Okay? Temperance. You want to speak up and you want to speak up and be, be sensitive about this. Like you're trying to mediate this and find a middle ground. Bring it in like that is your goal because this is a sensitive subject for this man. You have to remember... He's not even 100% sure. He doesn't really know that this is who his mother is. And he doesn't really know spiritually what this has done to him. So you can't come at him hard, okay? You can't just come out at him like, oh, you know this, this, this. You can't come at him like that. You're still going to have to be chill, okay? Because also keep in mind, too, church bells ring when the judgment card comes through the building. Y'all already know, okay? You're also going to have to uh, keep it clear, and keep it true that there is some level of divine judgment coming to this man's life. So keep that in mind. Remember that that's the ultimate truth. Pause. And I want you to remember and understand this just came to me, the lovers and the ace of swords. The lovers and the ace of swords is the energy that you walk in regardless. Okay. Regardless of anything that goes on with this masculine or this stronghold that his mother has on him or this ruling spirit of Jezebel that has its hold on the mother that is trickling down, creating this mess, okay, that is spilling out into his attempts to go off and get a mate and be on his own. He is not really able to do this because of the jealous nature of his mother, okay? Keep in mind that you still are operating in a lover's ace of swords energy, and that energy is where judgment is going to be called for this masculine. You are calling for this masculine to stand up and be an emperor. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. You and your energy and your words, when you come to him and speak up, they're going to be the things that are going to call to his spirit, whether he gets this or not, y'all, because this is a spiritual battle at the end of the day. They call to his spirit to stand up and act as a man. When you come to him, know that your energy, your divinity really is coming towards this man saying, hey, you need to stand up and be who you need to stand up and be, okay? You're asking this man, the emperor with the sun card energy, you're coming to this man, basically asking this man to stand up, speak up, speak out, stand in his truth and be a man. 
it may not seem like a big deal, but living in this man's truth, basically finding the lover's ace of swords energy in himself, where he's loving himself, standing in his truth, being righteous, being a man. Believe it or not, this man doesn't know anything about that. He's been this stifled. He's been held this captive in infancy, y'all, in Ahab energy. He don't know a thing about getting out here doing that. You're basically going to, your words are going to spiritually hit this man's soul in a way or have already spiritually hit this man's soul in a way for those of y'all that are already moving along in the timeline of this particular um, energy. These things have already hit this man in a way that is telling him it's time for him to de demand divine justice for himself. He has the right to be a man in his own energy and not an Ahab. And that's something that he needs to understand is that it is his birthright. It is his right in God to be his own man. His mother has made him feel guilty when he wants to go off and be 100% independent. And that's controlling him. And he doesn't realize that, y'all. Spirit wants him to know that he has every right to have his own family. Ten of Cups energy. These are the words that are going to come out of your mouth toward him. Okay. Even if they're not your direct words. This is what spiritually is going to go towards him, okay? He has the right to celebrate his own life, three of cups energy. He has the right to make his own family, do his own thing, have his own faith, have his own understanding. He has every right, y'all. He has every right to be hopeful, okay? To be happy, to be excited, to have faith, to have his own woman, his own high priestess energy, a woman that belongs to him alone, that is not being controlled. The relationship is not being controlled and tampered with by the demonic words and influences of bondage that are coming from his mother. Because baby, that is all she's speaking over him is bondage. She attempts to keep him bound to her. Okay. Period. The tower energy. I want you to know right now that when this message is delivered to this masculine, whether you deliver it verbatim or you just say what you have to say peacefully, and his spirit still picks up, his subconscious still picks up, his emotions still pick up what spirit is trying to call him into, that the most high is trying to call him into divine masculinity. The minute these words leave your mouth and go towards this man, it's going to hit him and bring anger and cataclysmic confusion to this man's mind and spirit because again it's the truth and we know truth is what you walk in and bring to the table that is your anointing y'all already saw it the lovers and the uh ace of swords you already saw this that this is your position in his life this man is going to go through a period of heartbreak confusion and separation as it relates to understanding even if subconsciously, y'all, the controlling influences of his mother. So this for him, even though to you it may be like, hey, let's just sit here and have a gentle conversation. For him, it is going to shatter a lot of what he's been built on because I'm going to tell you something. With this Three of Swords energy, the storm and the sorrow was already somewhere in him baking in the background that he kind of knows that he might be taking mama's boy a little too far. Somewhere in him, he already knew that or he's already heard it. So in a previous relationship, he may have already run into these problems. So when you say it, when y'all are trying to talk, get to know each other, whatever phase of romance y'all are in, the talking phase, the marriage phase, whatever. When you say this, this man is going to know because he's already heard this, that he's hearing what he needs to hear. So even though it seems light and fluffy to you, this is going to hit this man all the way down to his socks. So prepare yourself for the shock and, and OMG-ness that's going to come to him when he has to face this reality, okay? The reality being that in order for him to truly stand as a man, Ace of Wands energy, and stand in his self, he is going to have to release these energies towards his mother, the tower, the three of swords. He will have to shake her up and break her heart in order for him to be a man. That's it. OK, he will have to go to her and, and basically rip the umbilical cord out by the root. OK, it will not be nice. It will not be cool. It will not be friendly. He's going to realize that he has to bring a storm and a shake up to his mother's door. If he's ever going to get to an ace of wands, he will have to walk away. OK, walk away towards his own destiny. There's nothing else for him to do. He will have to walk away and move towards acceptance for a source energy, really accepting that 
It can't even be peaceful between him and his mother because his mother is not going to stop these strongholds. These are the things that are going to come to him when you let him know, okay? Five of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. Lord have mercy. This man going to be shook to his core, y'all. Because he's going to realize that as a man, he's in a Five of Pentacles. He's in a piss poor space. He's in a strange space. He's in a barren space. He's going to have to face the fact that his mother is keeping him out in the cold in a sense. She's keeping him from growing up. He's going to have to see the sneaky deception. Set seven of swords energy that has kept him from being who he's really supposed to be. This is going to hit him hard, y'all. This is a burden, okay, that he doesn't even know he's been carrying. So if somebody is going to go through this with this man, you're going to have to be patient because this is this is going to be hard on him. So, y'all, what, what, is, what is the final message here? This is going to be hard on him. How does this actually turn out, okay? If you continue to be in relationship with this man, how does it turn out, okay? That's the million-dollar question. Page of Wands. Okay. King of Swords. This man has a lot of thinking to do. A lot of thinking to do. And he's going to have to be willing to just kind of get alone and really think, 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 think on how he wants this to go. He's going to have to sit and ponder this. King of Swords with the Hangman. He's going to have to actually ponder this. Okay. What is it, you know? What's what? He's going to have to ponder this, okay? And he's going to have to move slowly. Knight of Pentacles energy, energy towards his own independence. It's not going to happen overnight. So know that this is going to happen slowly. That he's going to have to get in touch with his emotions again. King of Cups, because I'm going to tell you something. This man don't even be half knowing what he feels about things. He, he what, Mama, what you think? That's kind of what he, he thinks. He thinks he thinks what his mama thinks, Okay. He's going to have to get in touch with his emotions again, and then he will be able to be a decent mate to you. King of Pentacles. Also something that you may not know. His mother's influence has been keeping money out of your pockets. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers this story that happened. I think it was last year. Y'all, I hope I got the story right. But there was an athlete or something that divorced his wife. If anybody remembers this story, please put it in the comment comments. And when she went to get half, she had found out that half of his money was hidden or something due to his mother's influence or his mother's advice. Much of his money was not accessible to her. I think this may have been a soccer player. It, it wasn't the NFL or the NBA. It may have been a soccer player or something like that. His mother had created an environment where this his wife was not able to get the resources that she would have normally gotten. His mother could be doing something to that effect. She could also be saying, oh, I'm helpless. I need you to pay some of my bills. Or she could just simply be in the background saying, don't give that lady all your money. Don't let her have you taking her to all them expensive places. Don't let her have you helping her with all those bills. Okay, so there may be a separate fund of money that this man is not allowing you to be privy to. And I'm telling you, he actually does have the resources. It's not about you taking from him it's about him just contributing as a man but see she's keeping him from really being the fullness of his manhood which a lot of times has run women away knowing that he's stingy knowing that he hides money okay once this man comes to this realization about his mother notice that you and him will become a match okay queen of pentacles if he can accept the truth of who she is and who she's been in his life the two of you do become a match okay beyond the shadow of a doubt page of swords with the four of wands, if you were really willing to engage in some serious like spiritual battle and patience and waiting for him to, to kind of come to these realizations about his mother, there is room. Page of, page of swords with the four of wands. Y'all have to fight for it, but you guys could end up in the divine partnership that you want. But this man literally has to come into a renewal of the mind. Okay. He has to understand that what he thinks ain't what it is, okay? What he thought ain't what he thought, mm -mm, okay? So this man would have to really slow down also on how much he communicates to his mother as well. Like he can't just go tell her everything because that gives her the, the pathway spiritually to meddle. She knows what to meddle on, what to speak ill on, what to gossip to her little friends about that's creating some of this turmoil. So this man would have to kind of slow down on his communicating everything to her. 
okay? But the Empress energy, there is still room for you to become the Empress energy in his life. There is still room for you to become the major player in his thought processes. There is still room for the two of you to grow as a unit and a couple. But what you have to get from this message here is that first things first, this man got to understand that he is under the influence of a ruling spirit, okay? And even more so, he has to be willing to accept the fact that his mother, who is the centerpiece of his life, is actually doesn't necessarily have his best interest in heart. And that's a tough pill to swallow. If he can do that, you will actually get from this relationship exactly what it is you want. Because what you're feeling you can get from this relationship isn't false. It's just being actively blocked by the ruling spirit of Jezebel. Okay? If you have enjoyed this divine feminine tarot tea, girl, please go ahead and like it, share it, subscribe. Okay? Do not be afraid, girl. Come to the building and hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you are here all the way to the end of this message, girl, go ahead and throw that uh 333 off up in the comment section, okay? Period. In fact, why don't you type, and mama used to say, okay? Because this was all about mama, okay? So throw that in the comments, girl, and mama used to say. Y'all remember that song? Take your time, young man, okay? And if you would like to make a little donation to this channel, girl, so I can give me a little cheese, y'all. I just bought me some new Cracker Barrel cheddar, cheddar slices a few minutes ago. I know y'all proud of me. Go ahead and send a little donation over to DF Tarot Tea at Cash App or PayPal. If this message has blessed you, girl, bless me with some cheese or something like that, girl, okay? And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.